everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new series on React with TypeScript for beginners. In this series, we will learn to use TypeScript with React by building a few components of varying complexity. This video, however, is just an introduction to the course. Now, the first question you might have is why TypeScript? I'm pretty happy writing React applications with just JavaScript, so do I need to learn TypeScript? Now, I was at that stage as well, but having used TypeScript for a while, I can safely say that it has improved the overall development experience for me. With static type checking, I get to learn about potential bugs as and when I'm typing the code rather than heading to the browser and figuring out at runtime. It also provides a way to describe the shape of an object, hence providing better documentation and autocomplete. TypeScript even makes maintenance and refactoring of large code bases much easier. As you can see, there are some pretty good points to help you make the decision of adopting TypeScript in your code. Now you might be thinking, well, I've also heard people say that TypeScript is just frustrating most of the times. I have to write a lot more code than I normally do and the compiler keeps complaining. I simply don't know what to do about those errors. It doesn't seem to be productive for me. Again, I had the same mindset, but you have to look at TypeScript as an initial investment that pays off in the long run. And trust me, once you get the hang of it, you'll realize that the benefit you get outweighs the additional time you spend on it. Hopefully, this course will help you realize TypeScript doesn't have to be difficult and will help you evolve as a React developer. Before we proceed, I want to quickly discuss what this course is and is not. In this course, you'll learn with examples how to use TypeScript with React. It is not a course on TypeScript itself. But having said that, I've tried my best to ensure you don't have to be familiar with TypeScript to move forward. Wherever necessary, I will highlight a TypeScript concept and let you know if you have to learn more about it in your own time. You do, however, have to know the fundamentals of React. If you're new to React, please make sure to watch the React playlist on this channel before continuing. Also, as an added bonus, if you have an hour to spare, I recommend you watch my TypeScript for beginners in 50 minutes video to get a glimpse of what TypeScript is, as that will surely help you during this course. All right, with this introduction in mind, let's get started in the next video.